3000 damage to kill a bat is not good enough. So we need to add things like the gravity controller to our person. In fact, we're going to fill up every one of these slots with a nice upgrade. And then our idiot has pretty good gear, but I've spent a fortune so we can get even better gear. We only have to open one single chest before we get an S tier purple gun. And we get another free epic part. So then I thought, why stop there? We're going to open a lot more of these. Because before you'll know it, you'll get another S tier gun. If I keep smashing things together, I can turn this into a legendary version. Which basically doubles its damage output, so now we have one of these. And then if we combine those two together, we're going to get an even better version of this gun. Not sure that's a good idea, but we're stronger. And then we can make yellow boots that are also going to be incredibly strong. And I can make a yellow belt. Long story short, he looks like this and he has a 50% damage increase. Now we have a gun firing big black bullets that are going to do probably a lot more than 3,000. Or they're going to create a black hole where they land. And I think I'm okay with this. Whatever I hit gets a big black hole and then everything else is going to die a horrible, horrible death. And this is before we've even added any upgrades. And here's some of our new toys, a laser launcher that just like sends a laser down from a satellite somewhere in orbit and destroys absolutely everything. So we're just going to keep upgrading everything. I feel like these black holes are going to keep me nice and safe because if idiots get close, we're going to hit them with a black hole and then we're basically standing on our own black hole. Attack plus 10%? Why, yes, I do think that sounds worthwhile. One thing that would really put this black hole launcher over the top is if we got the attack speed up on it. Over time, effect duration plus 10%, that's going to merge my gun eventually to its ultimate form. On top of that, we're going to get a durian because that's also new. I think that just bounces around and will hit things as it goes. So we have a lot of just sort of passive weapons that just hit things randomly. Oh, we have flowers to murder too. I like how cute all these animals are. It feels all the better when we murder them. We'll uh, upgrade our durian. That way it's doing extra damage to all the idiots, not that I think we're lacking for damage whatsoever. So far, we're just disintegrating absolutely everything, and we're only two minutes in. We do get a special thing with our brick because of one of our weapons. I don't really remember what it is, but we'll start setting ourselves up for that. It's fun to throw bricks at things. There's our first boss that got immediately black holed because he's an idiot, and now he's dead. Black hole damage doubled. That's not going to hurt one little bit, and those bricks are already pretty big. I can't wait to see what happens with their new abilities. Well, there's a Type B drone, which I'm pretty sure will combine with our Type A drone eventually. The good test is always against the bosses, but I do remember gearing this guy to do extra damage to things like bosses, so I really don't think they're going to uh, have an issue. Double-sized Durian? Look how big that thing is already. It's going to be hitting all the enemies all at once. That's before they're stuck in a black hole. Or after. Just trying to put all the enemies into the holes today. That's our only goal. There's some fun things here. Laser damage doubled. Yes. I haven't really been paying much attention to the laser, sadly, but it is hitting for almost 4,000 damage by itself, and it goes off fairly quickly. And that'll help keep me safe, because I'm not going to pay very much attention at all to what the enemies are doing. I'm just picking up the gems. I still don't know what to take for the passives yet, so we're just going to take our Type A drone doubled. I don't know if passives are really even going to matter whatsoever. We'll just keep on with our legendary gear. I have been informed too that there's a higher tier of gear, but they're got to be so incredibly hard to get that uh, it's going to be a while before we see them. Because I've already spent like a lot of money uh, trying to unlock things and it's been working well, but we need to do a lot more. There's a fitness guide that's going to get us an ev evolved brick and more HP for whatever that's worth. But I feel like we're already pretty tough, but it might just be that enemies can't hit us. Yeah, it's probably more so that the enemies just sort of die before they get a chance to do the touching. Here comes the first boss. This is always a good test of damage. Damage. Oh, he missed the durian. Oh no, he didn't. He got stuck by the durian. Okay, he's dead. The black hole really did a number on him. Ooh, and it's a mega chest. We're gonna get five free upgrades. So durian damage is doubled and then added more again. So yep, and then we'll continue to upgrade things. Oh, HE fuel. Uh, all ammo and weapon range plus 10%. That's a durian evolver. Then we'll take more brick damage. Oh, and that's it for now. I somehow expected more upgrades. We're fighting pigs. These are obviously a little bit tougher. They're not just disintegrating right away, depending on what touches them. But I've got lots of time for lots of touching today. In fact, I've been so preoccupied with this that I've been forgetting to drink my coffee, and that doesn't happen often. Black hole size doubled. It's already obnoxiously strong. <laughs> this is going to make it so stupid. I don't have to try anymore. And it hasn't even evolved yet. We picked up a magnet, Keltrops. Uh, fruit shower incoming. Well, I didn't expect to take a fruit shower today, but when you get the opportunity, you got to take it. Okay, so the spinning, uh, what used to be a fruit, is now also launching giant bullets out of it as it spins. So I feel like that by itself is just kind of obnoxious at this point. But I'm definitely enjoying it. Our black holes are massive, our lasers are destroying everything, our spinning doodad is not stopping for anything. Just upgraded my black hole launcher, so it's max level now, so it's ready to evolve as soon as we get lucky enough to find its evolution. Unless we need the passives first. Whatever the case, the black hole launcher is obviously quite strong. Then we're going to do the same for the brick. It's now max level itself. It's ready to evolve. 10,000 damage. I saw 18,000 damage out of something. 
Mm, that definitely seems pretty adequate so far. I'm just going to walk into these guys and fire a black hole because I don't think they're very tough. There it is, Gloom Nova, life and death. Yes. Uh, that seems to just, yeah, make a giant swirling nova around the black hole. I don't know if that sucks people in or just makes it bigger, but it's already taking up, like, <laughs> a lot of the map. There's zombies incoming, but I feel like as long as I stand anywhere near a black hole, we're perfectly fine. Actually, I don't need to stand anywhere near a black hole. I just need to stand anywhere. I would blame this on, a uh, sublime skill, but I just spent a fortune to get upgrades. Well, we are getting more enemies, and they definitely are getting tougher, but they're still not tough enough to be not evaporated. Ooh, there's a magnet. Give me those upgrades. We still need one more passive, but I'm going to wait on that in case I'm forgetting something. Type A drone is now max level also. And then we're going to get more damage out of my laser. Mm, damage is a hard one to figure out. I think someone's firing projectiles at me and it might be those flowers. Ooh, it's a boss. Okay, he's dead. So we'll go ahead and um, I think he was a mini boss to be fair, but we got another five upgrades. So today's really our day. Okay, so out of that, we got our, an upgrade to our brick, which is a one ton iron and the rest of what you see there. Feel free to read it if you like. We're just stronger. So now instead of uh, the bricks flying up and down, we just fire giant weights out in all directions. I haven't yet seen the damage they do because I don't know if they've had a chance to hit anything because things die too quickly. It uh, looks like 9,000 damage per brick. Okay, we got a boss coming in. I almost touched that accidentally. Laser launcher it is. Okay, we're going to go ahead and meet the boss who is pushing us around like a bully. And they walked into a black hole and probably couldn't get out again, so they're dead. Just a single item this time. That's so sad. How are we going to survive on just one ultimate upgrade? We're in the Matrix now. It's a death ray. Oh, that's fun. I am kind of sad in a way we didn't instantly kill the butterfly boss. I really thought we would, so we've got work to do. I guess we can take our damage over time thing, so now uh, our black holes last 10% longer, and then also missiles doubled. Mm, I haven't even really noticed the missiles at all, to be honest. There's so many other things to watch. And then we're going to add more damage to our Type B drone. We don't need to reduce damage coming in, I don't think, because we don't really seem to have a lot coming in. So we just need to keep cruising around, letting the good times roll. We do still need to increase the weapon ammo and range, but I'm not really even sure what that does. For now, I just want more evolution, so we're upgrading the drone. I might actually pick up the passive to uh, suck things in from a further distance away because it's really annoying to have to walk and pick up like each individual crystal. I don't have time for this kind of petty stuff. Oh, I did just find a magnet. Oh, there's a destroyer. Justice reigns from above. It sure does. Oh, and that actually combines my two drones, so I have another weapon slot open now. So we'll upgrade the Exo Bracer for now, and maybe we'll get something that coincides with another uh, thing. So we'll get Energy Cube for now. All attack cooldown. These attacks are just going to go off even more frequently now. And with how long they're lasting, I think we just have permanent black holes on screen. Actually, that's kind of perfect. If we get high-powered magnet and then a boomerang, we can still get another evolution. And we can pick stuff up from further away. Because we really need more evolutions and damage at this point. Oh, here comes a mini boss. And he died. He got that far. Well, I suppose we'll go ahead and pick up the chest. It's just a single, but let's not get too picky. There's another 10% damage, which we obviously clearly needed. And we'll go ahead and pick up this magnet now. Why not? That's going to give us an easy level up. We unfortunately did not get our boomerang here, so let's just get the lightning emitter because we might actually already have what we need to, um, yeah, okay, so that was good because we can evolve that eventually. We just need more, uh, lightning bolts and more lightning bolts again. And wow, there was a lot of experience sitting on the ground. We'll take another lightning bolt and pretty soon we'll get an ultimate lightning thing evolution too. I still can't tell if things like if I just have so much health and armor that things aren't hurting me or if they're just dying before they get the opportunity. I do have to say I like my black hole gun quite a lot. Okay, we could increase our uh, magnet range, but first I want my ultimate uh, lightning rod thing. <laughs> Everything's getting so big and so stupid and it's firing so often. We can still upgrade our damage and have more evolutions. This is ridiculous. Okay, the pigs are getting pretty numerous though. They are tougher than regular enemies. Not that they're tough enough for us, but things are escalating quite quickly. Oh, there we go. Supercell. Thundering destruction. Yes, please. So now the lightning goes off more often and it's a much bigger area. <laughs> so the pigs are really struggling to stay alive. We're going to genocide the entire pig population. Okay, we're going to do that times two. So we just added 20%. Okay, 30% attack power. So now things are hitting for 30% more damage than they were five seconds ago. I didn't even see that magnet drop. Okay, we're going to pick up a magnet of our own there just because we don't really, I don't even know what we're upgrading anymore. There's no point. We'll just continue murdering away. We picked up another magnet. We'll pick that up. There's another magnet again. So now we can just pick up more uh, loot without having to go anywhere near it. And we'll just keep wandering quaintly through the wilderness. We're coming up at 15 minutes and that's exciting because we're going to find a new boss. Our health did go down just a touch there. All right. Depending on when the Mega Devourer, Devourer shows up, he's, uh, he's in trouble. He's already down to, I don't know, 10% health. Okay, he's dead. Oh, okay. That was the final boss of that area. Which means we can upgrade even more stuff by quite a lot, potentially. 
And because there's something wrong with me, I bought more gems because we can get even stronger. I did get an S tier purple armor that has a nice power of reviving with full HP once. So I guess I can uh, replace some of my parts with 100 extra damage plus whatever these things do, which is probably a lot. So I now have all these extra special abilities for all of my stuff. Anyways, it's time to get right back to work. So Force Field apparently has an ability that's going to uh, do that. We're going to try and focus on things that have abilities. So we're going to upgrade my Black Hole Gun too, because obviously we're going to use it. Uh, the Lightning Emitter also has a new ability. And I guess the Brick does too. We need the Exo Bracer though to, for sure to upgrade our Black Hole Gun, because that's a big one for us. This will be fun though, because this is a narrow level. So the Black Holes are pretty much going to occupy the entire thing at all times. Okay, the laser launcher also has a new uh, ability. I can't remember what it is, but it's going to make it even more obnoxiously stronger. And we already have the thing to uh, be able to upgrade that. So the lightning rod and the laser are both going to get their ultimate upgrade. I'm basically just casually wandering up because I don't really know what else to do. Uh, the lightning rod is going to have bolt count uh, plus two doll levels. So the lightning's going to be super, super strong. Oh, here's our first mini bar. Never mind, it's dead. And another upgrade later, and we're going to get laser damage doubled. I don't know what to upgrade first anymore. Maybe just my black hole gun because it's just a lot of fun. And then we're going to upgrade our guardian. Not that we need the help, but it's going to be spinning around doing lots. There's the upgrade for my brick that gives us an extra 20% HP that we don't need. There's a faster attack rate. I'm pretty sure just like this, we we could defeat this entire level and like not lose any health whatsoever. Uh, we've already actually filled out all of our weapons I didn't realize so we only want passives that can combine our other things which I think we actually already have anyway. What I'm trying to say is it doesn't really matter what we grab because well everything's gonna die anyway. Coming up on level 20 for whatever that's worth but that just means more upgrades for us. I guess we'll start upgrading our good old brick. This is a great level for the brick actually because it's so narrow. The bricks fly up and straight down and destroy so many idiots. Time for the uh, infamous boss assault. We're going to point ourselves straight toward him and <laughs> he's dead. Our reward for disintegrating him was a better force field. Oh, now we're starting to run into the pigs though. These are definitely going to be a little bit tougher. And then more black hole power. I've just doubled the laser range as well. So the laser covers the entire width of the level. I maybe pick some really good upgrades. So I need to stay right in the middle. I'm pretty sure the laser spawns on me. Okay, then we're going to get an extra guardian. So those are going to swirl around pretty much constantly. Those also take up the width of the level. This is going to be so good. We're just going to destroy everything. We don't have to move an inch. At this point, I'm mostly just wait, waiting for a magnet to spawn. Maybe that was wishful thinking. We'll go ahead and pick up a few of the gems because we don't really need a magnet. Everything's so close together. So force field, power and damage up and uh, brick damage up. Uh, laser launcher damage up. That was a lot of experience sitting there and there's a whole bunch more sitting right here too. So yeah, we don't need magnets anymore. Uh, Forest Field is I think now max level. So it's, oh, there's a magnet right there. Uh, we'll take an extra 10% damage. Sure we will. Then we're going to take all that in. That's got to be worth There's my super Force Field. Uh, the Void Power, uh, my Black Hole Launcher is almost max level. Okay, we're going to get more uh, Lightning Bolt. Uh, my Force Field doesn't quite take up the whole level, but it's pretty close. I'm pretty sure nothing can get to us anymore. If I sit right here, right in the middle, nothing can get to us. But we have a perfect test for that because the zombies are incoming. Normally they all get right into the middle of the map and push their way into you and it's really hard to avoid, but we're hardly seeing them on screen. Well, the zombie horde seems to have failed at reaching us. We're going to go ahead and pick up some of their stuff. Oh, there's this uh, mini boss. Oh, I think we killed him. Defender, the wheel of death. Oh, maybe we didn't kill him because we would have got this. Uh, I do also see another ultimate evolution on there. Will we get it? We sure will. That's our black hole gun. Okay, and then the lightning emitter is getting leveled up. Okay, here comes the raging bull. We're just going to stand here and it's dead. Okay, so we're going to get our lightning thing leveled up and we're going to get an extra 10% attack damage. Uh, we'll get our attack cooldowns uh, reduced by 10%. There's the ultimate lightning ability. Uh, we'll take some more brick damage while we're at it and we got another one of these. Laser launcher it is. Uh, we can still get two ultimate upgrades. I keep forgetting that because we're already so stupidly strong. Okay, there was a mini boss. A butterfly got that close to me. Once it got into the uh, blades of death, whatever they're called, it kind of got evaporated. But when it died, it gave us the death ray. So that's only going to help our cause in a very big way. Yeah, I feel like the enemies are really going to struggle to get close to me. Even whatever these blue beetles are, they're clearly very strong because they're not dying instantly per se, but just about. Okay, we'll get some more brick upgrade because that's only going to help. And that's certainly going to help. There's the ultimate brick upgrade. Plus attack damage and oh, I guess we're out of upgrades for a minute. Uh, I think that's every evolution we can have now, but that's really more than what we need. At this point, I'm starting to wonder if I maybe went overboard on the upgrades. But then I think to myself, no, no, I did not. Over time duration, another 10% and another 10%. So 20% longer black holes, more HP. Okay, more uh, magnet range. 
Oh, that's it for now. Level 51. Look, we can just march through these guys. Nothing can stand up to us anymore. More loot range. Get out of my way, idiots. I'm walking here. <laughs> just mowing them down like a lawnmower. It's so satisfying. Get more loot range. Let's try going up now. We'll mow them upwards. I think this is supposed to be obscenely hard at this point, but uh, it's obscenely hard for them. The experience comes in so quick. Okay, we're running out of upgrades at this point now, so we're just going to take whatever happens to land on the ground. We do have some stronger beetles spawning in. This is supposed to be like the super hard part of the end of the level, <laughs> and it's not too bad for us somehow. Yeah, I'm just going to march upwards till the end of the level, really, because nothing's going to come anywhere close to hurting us. We're actually weaker by doing this, but I'm just emphasizing how strong we are. Okay, we have what's called the boss assault starting, so we're going to point our black hole gun straight toward them. It's some kind of starfish, and it's soon to be a dead starfish, just like that. Well, we created the strongest being in the universe and he's only going to get stronger.